Donald Trump's wife, Melania, and I put wife in quotes for reasons you'll understand, Donald Trump's wife, Melania, has now come out in support of abortion rights. Melania Trump has a book that she's promoting, and as part of the videos promoting her book, she released this. Watch. Individual freedom is a fundamental principle that I safeguard. Without a doubt, there is no room for compromise when it comes to this essential right that all women possess from birth, individual freedom. What does my body, my choice really mean? Individual freedom, my body, my choice. Well, great of Melania Trump to come out now. <laughs> she could have done this a couple of years ago when the Supreme Court was considering whether to get rid of Roe versus Wade and kick it over to the states. And several states have now said, no, it's not your body, your choice, Melania Trump or any other woman. It belongs to the state. And the state gets to decide whether you carry this pregnancy to term and are forced to give birth or whether you have some sort of control over your own reproductive freedom. So what's going on here with Melania Trump? Is she just trying to bring more attention to her book? Is she trying to make some money? Is she trying to stick it to her husband? And maybe Melania Trump really doesn't want him to win. And this is her way of trying to say, look, you know, women of America, I agree with you. I don't agree with my husband on this. Or is she playing some sort of you know, multi-dimensional chest or she's somehow trying to soften up her husband's image by saying that even you know families have disagreements over this issue and it's okay to have a disagreement and still support your loved one who may be running for president or who may be voting for a Donald Trump. Um, it's, um, it's pretty rich. Uh, and speaking of rich and speaking of just sort of weird, Melania Trump adding to the theory that this is all about money for her. She has reportedly said that she would give an interview to CNN about her book and about issues like abortion rights. If CNN pays her $250,000, <laughs> 250K. Now, Melania Trump um, has a history of selling things over the last couple of years and sort of doing the family grifting and trying to sell various products. $237,500. That's the price. We've just confirmed this bill for a quote unquote speaking engagement in April. CNN is talking about Melania Trump for one appearance and some brief remarks. She was paid two hundred and thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars. She was paid by the log cabin Republicans for that April fundraiser. She appeared at again, two hundred thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars for that. On this thing, I mean, the grift never stops with the Trumps. It's really unbelievable. You can buy the Trump coin. Melania Trump gets paid to go to a dinner for Republicans. I, when I was a Republican, I spoke at a couple of functions for, for, for the log cap and people. I didn't know I could get 237000 I did it for free because I was a Republican and they were a Republican group. You know, that's kind of what Republicans do. You know, what Democrats do for Democratic groups. Too. But all truism is obviously not in the Trump playbook. This is video of Melania Trump's arrival at her April appearance. It was at Mar-a-Lago. In other words, she walked there. And Melania Trump's speech was not exactly a barn burner. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to be in your presence once again, surrounded by friends and allies who share the common goal of promoting equality for all. I mean, it is amazing. The hucksterism and the grift, uh, you know, even what what do we have six weeks after the election? Neither of them, uh, neither uh, Mr. Trump nor Mrs. Trump stops with the with the, with the uh, the attempt. to. Well, we got make, the gold coins, you know, and Trump, Trump, Sir Michael uh, putting out gold coins you know, with his face on it and selling them. That's right. And coins to the branded collection of odd knickknacks that Donald Trump is selling to his supporters. They are actually silver and cost a hundred bucks. That's a bit more expensive than the Trump Bible he is selling, though less expensive than the Trump sneakers. Here is Donald Trump's recent coin announcement. Hello, everyone. I have something incredible to share today. We are announcing the launch of Trump Coins, a true symbol of American greatness. Trump Coins are designed by me and minted right here in the USA. This beautiful limited edition coin commemorates our movement, our fight for freedom, prosperity, and Putting America first, we always put America first. Trump also tends to put his profits first. And in this case, even though the coin costs $100 to buy, it only has $30 worth of silver. So the value of the coin is actually $30, not 100. 
You see how that works for Donald Trump? He makes 70 bucks. <laughs> the profit principle was the same with his previous grifts, including Trump Steaks, Trump Wine, and Trump University, which eventually went out of business. Anyway, Melania Trump has her own grift, I mean, knickknacks these days. She recently began selling the Vote Freedom Limited Edition necklace celebrating Lady Liberty. It costs $600 to buy, has Lady Liberty on the front, and nothing behind it. MelaniaTrump.com has other items as well, including an NFT of her that is part of her Women's History Month collection. This bit of history will set you back $150. For $90, you can purchase a Merry Christmas America USA star ornament. Sadly, the Christmas ornament does not come with an audio recording of Melania Trump disparaging Christmas responsibilities while she was First Lady. But we have it here for you free, thanks to CNN. Working like a ass, my ass, I know. The Christmas stuff that, you know, who gives a f about Christmas stuff and decoration, but I need to do it, right? Back to abortion, though. I think a lot of MAGA women are privately cheering that Melania Trump has come out and said, at least publicly, hey, I believe women have abortion rights and reproductive rights. Uh, one of the closest, I would say, Democrats to the Trumps, uh, in terms of Democratic analysis, who has actually spent a lot of time talking with the Trumps, is Van Jones over on CNN. And uh, his take on this was, um, was pretty interesting. Watch this. Maybe she's trying to come out of the shadows. I mean, just, yeah, this, the, the music in the background, her face is like half, half shaded. It's getting us talking about the book. It's definitely good for book sales. This is either one of two things. This is a big break with her, her husband and saying, I just don't agree. And I have my own book and my own stand and I don't care. Or it is 27 dimensional chess. And people say, well, maybe she will soften Trump on abortion. So maybe some suburban uh, housewives and, and, and women and voters will uh, change their position. But this is bizarre. I don't think you've ever seen in the history of American politics, a former first lady or the spouse of a candidate come out with a book and a video saying, I don't agree right. with my husband's party on a key issue. It, it's never happened before, it, it ever. Is. Well, a lot of things with the Trumps have never happened before in US presidential or campaign history. Um, Donald Trump was the first president impeached twice, although the Senate refused to convict him either time. He was the first president to reject a peaceful transition of power. He was the first president convicted of felony charges. And remember, those felony charges were for falsifying business records because he had allegedly an affair with a porn star while his wife Melania was home with their newborn baby. And he wasn't charged for that, but he was charged for falsifying the business records for the hush money payments, and he got convicted. So again, the first president convicted of felony charges. He's the uh, first president to lie publicly more than 30,000 times, according to the Washington Post, which kept a record of this. Every president, I suppose you could argue, every politician lies, but the frequency with which Donald Trump lied publicly, never mind what he may have said to his own staff and to his colleagues behind closed doors, but what he said publicly, more than 30,000 times, according to the Washington Post. Now, Donald Trump and Melania, they are both have their grift. They have a long history of selling things, whether it's Trump water, Trump steak, Trump universities, which went out of business. And it's not just Donald Trump and Melania. Jared Kushner, Donald Trump's son-in-law, married to Ivanka, he has also gotten in some trouble for his grift and using contacts that he developed while he was in the Trump administration in order to profit from them personally. I think that the team around him is, is maybe the best he's had. Jared Kushner says he is not needed on his father-in-law's presidential campaign and will not join another Trump administration. So is that a no? If he calls you on November whatever and says, I'd like to come back to see you say, thanks, but I'm good? Uh, yes. But Kushner's effort to create some separation with Donald Trump is not stopping a growing scandal. Jared Kushner's multi-billion dollar investment firm could be facing serious conflicts of interest if his father-in-law retakes the White House. The New York Times reports that 99% of the money placed with him by investors has come from foreign sources. And now, making matters worse, Kushner's fund has reaped millions in fees but so far returned no profits. As The Guardian reports, a private equity firm owned by Jared Kushner, Donald Trump's son-in-law, has been paid $157 million in fees since 2021 without returning any profit to investors, according to a U.S. Senate inquiry. The finding from the Senate Finance Committee has fueled suspicions that the Miami-based company Affinity Partners may be a foreign influence buying operation established in anticipation of the former president returning to the White House. 
Jared Kushner's multi-billion dollar, multi-billion dollar, he had no experience investing a single dollar. Whether it's Jared Kushner or Melania Trump or Donald Trump, there is a clear pattern with this family that they use the government power that they accumulated. They use the contacts. They use all of this to leverage and make themselves rich and make themselves even more rich by selling even more access and trinkets and power. Everything is for sale with the Trump family, everything. And that should be a warning to all Americans. If you want somebody who's going to put their own personal profits above everything else, go ahead, vote for Donald Trump. But if you believe that it's the job of a president and his family to serve the greater good, to prioritize the American people, how do you possibly pull the lever for this? I mean, buy the Trump hats, buy the Trump stake, but don't buy his effort to get back into the White House.